Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Any units I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... An Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. I really hope Sarduth isn't a real place. I can't believe he actually turned himself in. Root. Root, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Those scaly bastards didn't stand a chance. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out my on us. My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I star will system. sacrifice your head. Guys. I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. 
He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Tell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, Thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. There! That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Whoa! <laughs> yep. No problem! We're flying the wrong way. Nah, no, no, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax! Just one... minor... adjustment! <laughs> Piece of cake! <sighs> he can't be serious. What?! This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> You, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. I am blue. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. I am Groot. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. We accomplish nothing by lingering in the ship. How about staying dry? That's an accomplishment. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Are we going? Because I'm ready. Of course. It had to be raining. I hate wet. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer! We'll figure it out on the way! There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! 
We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. Jacket, all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. The Space Lady and Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Shikari trip to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender stops upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Oh! Oh! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this? Yes! This storm really ain't doing it for me, Quill. It is no storm. It is her monstrous breath. Yeah, well, her breath ain't doing it for me either. She doesn't even know we're here. Can we at least agree this was the worst landing in history? So what if it's the right planet? It's the wrong side of the right planet. I, for one, embrace your challenge, Lady Hellbender. OK, so maybe this wasn't my most perfect landing. Happy? No. Should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No 
out by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready! around here looks like we are outside late the hellbender sanctuary the creatures here are not her pets but food these sort of do look like food we're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here where the flark is she going there's a trail going through the jungle all sales up. Words to live by. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. I'm going to get ahead. Try not to kill yourself on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. You ever fly one of these things, Gamora? Great. We made it halfway. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. If you see anything. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? More sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Ooh, mysterious. Found something quilt. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. 
Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... No, just try to stay ready. Jelly dudes, I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have. Come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with X. Where are you? Still checking things out. Place bigger than I thought. <laughs> nice hidden passage. Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. You done exploring, Quill? Because, uh... I really need to talk to you. There's something, um, personal I need to get off my chest. What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Like some kind of thing to be studied and kept in a cage. He's not like you and me. He's not like anyone. He's, uh, he's kind. Sometimes we gotta protect him. Come on. The sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. Oh, yeah. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. So, uh, these tracks, Gamora. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax, I'm just looking around. <laughs> this is further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. Oh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! 
Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's freaky. That Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me... We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking chogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? I do. Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch. dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. What's Shatar? Hey, my shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey! I found more ruins down here! Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just to leave it. My great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? You are a voice oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> ah! I was born! I will face all of Lady Hilton! Don't forget, we're selling one of those beasts! I have earned my name today! Watch the stingers! I'm watching the big market bags, bags! Yearned for months. 
Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Second Arc Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. We even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are them. Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. He does it. What the fuck? I'm not here for you. We are the road. Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, Catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. <sighs> I got it. All right, guys, anyone know what that is? Monster! Stop the sword, crew! Max! Stop it! Where did you go? I don't want to get eaten you by a squid tiger! It is we who shall do the eating this day! I knew something would stop them! Enjoy your I told you! Icy Blast coming at you! Move! Its tail is green with ice! Best keep your distance, Gamora! Knock the squid cap! Cowardly beast! Finish the battle! Aw, Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. 
How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Got you covered. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafty. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables, I just need a way up. Drax, this one's all you. Right about there. Shall be done. Maybe this Hell Lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off our backs. I wouldn't bring up the war. How come? Those of us who took part are not eager to relive its memories. What next, Peter Quill? <sighs> Gotta say, I get some sick satisfaction to see this thing buried in the ground. This brings back memories! Hmm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I am Groot. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. Over there. As you wish. Perfect. Thanks, Drax. What purpose does it serve over here? You'll see, you'll see. Just be patient. No giant mo- I wonder if I can get down there. Peter! Try jumping! There goes nothing. Woo! <laughs> that was fun! Did he perish? Hey, Quill, you dead? No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! Are you in need of assistance, Peter Quill? It's all right. I'll figure it out. <sighs> I am relieved, Peter Quill. You did not harm yourself in your reckless dilly-dally. Hey, you think he's stuck? Perhaps. Oh, come on. Right there's good. Understood. Man, never realized Seknarf was such a hot spot for the war. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said, he gives credit where credit is due. <laughs> there it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. What's Captain distracted up to now? He calls us over. I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. 
Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hilda in the sky. <clears throat> okay, here we oh. go. Slimy. Uh, guys. You might want to wait to come down here. <clears throat> oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Smack breach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, hit fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like Clark, what? Clark, Clark, Clark. <sighs> Quill. Quill. My glasses, they... I only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scud like this. Yes, come on, you... Just... Please, the guns me, alone! Let me... I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. DNA coding. Some kind of morphing animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. Guns, Quill. With fervor! Get the point! Root says these things are a pain to tie down! Do your worst, Lady Hellbender! You're gonna need more monsters by the time we're done! Cut them open! Enough with the jelly! Break its bones! Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, Gamora, you dig out that cannon? If you want to wait a few rotations. I shall extract the cannon. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in play. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. Uh, I cannot hold it forever! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Mora, think you can squeeze into that tiny space? Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. 
But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Jump started the thing. Rocky, you okay? <coughs> yeah, and dry now, too. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Well, come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are... He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. Very well. No! Wait, wait! Peter! It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh... I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting ass flatters! I am not familiar with these Selfie words. Scrub, I think he's making them up. He's bugs. really pissed. You can rot, you At least he's not shooting at us. Holes. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want ten. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. Hey, Groot? Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. Um, hello? The bridge is over here. I just want to see where this goes. Just so you know, this don't change or deal none. Ten percent. Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our monster? There's usually some acting involved in this kind of infiltration. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is... Disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching ever. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! Okay, that got my blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got to work food? on your taste. But the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? A, Gamora thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety as leader. Space travel is a nice town! Scary! 
Take your piece! Think they're trying to get their cave back? Maybe it's got some kind of sentimental value! Yes, one tough customer! Let's roll this thing over! Cause some real damage! Stick it to her, you! More! Come to me, beast! <laughs> you are coming with me. We better hurry. Hurry, group. My big man. She is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Tree say. He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. I agree with Groot. It's important to stay hydrated. Not this hydrated. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. Groot says we should check things out over here. <laughs> Eat freeze. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill. Better not forget what we're talking about. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot left. No, but the guy I took them off of did. Or stole them. He was dead. Flew into a ceiling fan. and fortresses. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna march into that ridiculous... Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flocking infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. 
Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you cool? Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. 